You know, chances are you've never heard of Rare Disease Day, but there are about 7,000 known rare diseases. One in 10 Americans have one. More than half of those are children. By definition, the diseases are uncommon. They're rare, unheard of. These stats became very personal to us, though, here at WFMY News 2, when one of our coworkers revealed that she had a rare disease. And this is Carrie's story. Today I'm able to sit here, which I think is a complete miracle, and not just be in constant pain. I didn't have that for 19 years. I really suffered. 19 years of smiling in photos while hiding a secret she didn't fully understand. I never, ever, ever thought I would talk about this at all. I used to tell Adam, I would say I'm taking this one to the grave. It all started right after Carrie and Adam were married. We had a beautiful night together. I just woke up and I had, you know, there was intense itching. At first I just thought it's an infection, you know, and I'll go get it taken care of. But you know, it's 19 years later and I still have it. Carrie spent nearly two decades going doctor to doctor searching for relief. Because there's been so many times where I've just wanted to give up. You know, what kind of life is this? When you don't have quality of life, where you can't use the restroom without being in pain, where you can't be intimate with your husband, where you're constantly itching, and it is a deep itching. It is, you know, hornets stinging you, red ants biting at you. The mystery nightmare, it ended with a diagnosis, but it was devastating. A rare disease with no cure. I was like, what do you mean there's no cure? There has to be a cure. There's got to be medicine I can take. Carrie has lichen sclerosis, or LS. It is an autoimmune inflammatory genital skin disease. It causes intense itching. It can deform the genitals. It can lead to cancer. And that's just the medical impacts. It takes away so much from you. You know, it takes your womanhood away. It takes your confidence away. It takes intimacy away. But the disease didn't take away Carrie and Adam's resolve to fight this together. I just try to encourage her, keep her thinking positive, not negative, not going to a dark place, not trying to give up. You find where you draw your strength together from. And I think that for us, it was turning to our faith and knowing that, you know, when we took those vows, we meant it. It is the part of the vows that you say but you don't fully understand on your wedding day. This is chronic suffering on a just, you just can't fathom it. And you just don't know how that you're gonna make it through the next five minutes, the next 30 minutes, the next hour. And when you're in meetings, when you're talking to people and all you, you're just itching so much and you can't do anything about it. So your body just breaks out and sweats because there's no way to deal with the itching. Carrie's diagnosis took 19 years, but now with a new doctor, a specialist, there is at least treatment. The moment that I walked into their office, I knew right away that that's where I was supposed to be. There was just something about it that said, you're gonna get the help you need. Dr. Rita Pichardo heads a clinic at Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. It's designed for women with rare diseases. I like my patients to be involved in the process. I feel like I cannot do the job by myself. I need motivated patients, and, and I feel like it's my responsibility to motivate them. For the first time, Carrie now has hope, and to celebrate, she decorated the exam room for the doctor. But that was so, I don't know, it's so emotional to me. I, I, I didn't expect that. I really appreciate Carrie and, and all the things that she's doing for herself and also for other women. I feel like it raise awareness and, and educate the community. I really want people out there to know that if you are going through a chronic illness, that there is hope, that you can fight through it, you can get through it. And if I can be bold enough to come out and talk about this on television, that they can do anything and they can find their healing. Carrie must be seen every two to three months by a specialist for the rest of her life for LS. She also has other medical conditions and is taking shots for weight loss and is proud to say she is down 65 pounds and we celebrate all of those wins with her. I have to tell you, LS is most often diagnosed in children and in most 
postmenopausal women. On our website, we have resources for LLS, as well as other rare diseases to help you and your loved ones.